be logging. The procedure for a trainee to log into the training session is the same as that for the instructor, only each trainee uses the RDP file that was sent to them by the instructor. The trainee will now be connected to their virtual workstation, ready for when the instructor begins the training session. The trainee workplace. We'll begin by taking an overview of the trainee's main display. This is the trainee's overhead display. This is the same as the IBID overhead display on a physical bridge simulator. These are the buttons for switching between the visual view and the Navi Sailor Navi Radar view. This is where the trainee can change the steering mode and configure the autopilot settings. This is the propulsion control or telegraph. This is the helm or rudder control for manual steering. Here the trainee can change the echo sounder and log mode. Here the trainee would find anchor controls, light and sound signal controls, and if the vessel in use had thrusters, controls for the thrusters would be available on an additional tab. This is the visual and binocular control, pan and tilt. Here the trainee can change the visual viewpoint, select and deselect the binocular mode and pan and tilt the visuals. Here we can see the alarm and GNSS view. We also have the compass view and selection where the trainee can change between gyro compass or magnetic compass. We'll now take an overview of the Navi Sailor Navi Radar display. Selecting the ECDIS button will bring the trainee to the Navi Sailor. All the usual functionality will be available. Note that the main propulsion and steering controls are still available. In the exercise, if the own ship is assigned to a route, Navi Sailor will automatically monitor that route although the trainee will have to ensure that the next waypoint is correct. If the route of being used has the Navi Radar task, clicking on the Radar button will take the trainee to the Navi Radar screen. All the usual Navi Radar functions will be available. All the usual Navi Planner functionality will be available. If the route of being used does not contain the Navi Radar task, the Radar button on the ECDIS view will be greyed out. In this case, an additional Radar button will be visible in the View Select area. If the trainee clicks this button, 
they will be taken to the Bridgemaster e-radar. All the usual functionality of the Bridgemaster e-radar will be available. Note again that the main propulsion and steering controls are accessible. We'll now look at a short demonstration of some of the trainee workstation functionality. Setup of the Navi Sailor is the same as if using a physical simulator. Again, setup of the Navi Radar is the same as if using a physical simulator. Here I am demonstrating the use of the autopilot and settings. I'll now deselect the autopilot and demonstrate manual steering. I'll now re engage the autopilot. Switching echo sounder mode between depth below surface, keel, and transducer. Switching the log mode between bottom and water track. Setting the anchor cable length for when the anchor is let go. Control of the navigation lights. Control of sound signals, searchlight and signal lamp. <laughs> 